dye eye is a fluorescent lipophilic dye commonly used for neuronal tracing. Dye eye crystals can diffuse across the membrane and travel along dendrites, which allows researchers to visualize individual processes and spines using confocal microscopy. In this video, we'll show how to deposit dye eye crystals onto hippocampal brain slices, perform a background hook stain, and show our dye eye specific imaging parameters. Section brain slices to a width of 200 micrometers and place in 1% PFA for one hour at room temperature with gentle agitation. Once complete, transfer tissue into 1x PBS. Take a square of parafilm and dispense a drop of 1x PBS onto the film. Using a paintbrush or transfer pipette, gently pick up a slice and place onto the drop. Once the tissue is laid flat, use a pipette or Kim wipe to remove excess liquid. Let briefly dry for approximately one minute. Place tissue under a dissection microscope. Using a small glass pipette or dissection pin, gently pick up some dye eye crystals onto the end of the pin. For best results, ensure that the crystals are small. A sonicator or mortar and pestle can be used to break up the crystals. Use the pin or pipette to place crystals within the desired regions of your slice. In our example, we are placing the crystals along the dentate jars of the hippocampus. We have found the best results when crystals are placed just within the granule cell layer. Let dry for approximately one minute. It is important to not let the tissue dry out completely. Because dye eye is light sensitive, once crystals have been placed, cover tissue with tin foil. Next, place a drop of PBS onto the slice and seal with another piece of parafilm by placing a second square of parafilm over top and pressing the squares together using a pen or handle of a razor blade. Place into a petri dish and wrap with tin foil. Let the slice incubate in the fridge for a minimum of 24 hours after crystal placement. After 24 to 48 hours, retrieve slices from the petri dishes and gently transfer into multi-well plates containing 1x PBS. Place on belly dancer for 5 minutes. Then transfer tissue into wells containing a 1 in 2,500 dilution of hooked and let incubate for 10 minutes. Once complete, mount tissue onto slides and cover slip with floor mount. For optimal visualization of spines labeled with dye eye, slices should be imaged 24 to 48 hours after crystal placement. Any time after that, the dye will become too diffuse to visualize individual dendrites. Under an epifluorescent microscope, locate a neuron with clear dendrites with minimal overlap. For a more comprehensive review of the imaging software used here, see our lab's tutorial series on using Olympus FlowView FV1000. The parameters we are using is as follows. Set step size to 0.45 micrometers as it needs to be small to capture spines. Set scanning rate to 2 microseconds per pixel. Keep HV within the range of 525 to 650, and keep the laser power under 